The Ugandan opposition politician Bobby Wine has flown home today after receiving medical treatment in the United States for injuries he says were inflicted by the Ugandan military. The former pop star turned politician is a staunch opponent of President Museveni, who's led Uganda for 32 years. Our Africa editor, Fergal Keane, sent this report from Kampala. In Kampala, there was anticipation and the catchphrase of the moment. People power. And there was the familiar menace through which this country is controlled. Which Uganda would greet a nervous Bobby Wine as he prepared to board a flight in neighboring Kenya? Yes, I'm afraid because uh, the way the government is conducting itself is very worrying. But nevertheless, I'm going back home. Less than an hour later, he was home. And beyond these doors, out of sight, into the custody of the police. He was swept from the airport in this convoy. A few supporters raced to keep up. Some who tried to cheer him faced the wrath of the army. Still, out of the lanes and banana groves, they converged on his house. The word was out. Bobby Wine was being allowed home. A quick look to confirm it was him in the car. And then the last yards. Inside this vehicle, Bobby Wine, returning home. The very fact that he's been allowed to come here is a big political victory for him. And a moment of joy for his supporters. He told them he would end three decades of one man's rule. And in a country where three quarters of the population is under 35, the promise is intoxicating. What do you hope he will do for you? Our future president is back in Uganda. That is our future president. <laughs> but don't count out 74 year old President Museveni, wily and ruthless and whose followers believe the young challenger is no match for him. Going to my past experiences, we have dealt with more serious, uh, formidable opponents and we dealt with them a decisive blow. Back at home, we watched as Bobby Wine was reunited with his family. A reminder that political activism here has a highly personal price. Are you going to fight on? I have come to continue exactly where I stopped. I am going to fight on, and like I said, we must get our freedom or we shall die trying to get our freedom. International pressure helped him stay free today, but the bigger struggle here is only beginning. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Kampala. The World Anti-Doping Agency